continuing with the discussion on synthesis of unsymmetrical phases into symmetrical phases that is symmetrical components now in this session we we'll look into the what do you mean by the operator e we already know that the operator j which causes a rotation of 90 degree in the anti clockwise direction if you are operating j twice on a, a ve any vector it is rotating through an angle of 180 degree in the anti clockwise direction and so on similarly we know that in the symmetrical components that is a positive sequence and a negative sequence component of unbalanced phases they are displaced 120 degree it is a convenient to have a shorthand method of indicating the rotation of a phasor through 120 degree that is what we are calling is the operator a that is just like a operator j if you are operating a on a vector that vector is rotating through an angle of 120 degree in the anti clockwise direction that is we have to explore in this particular the session and you have to apply for a symmetrical component representation that is use a to designate the operator that causes a rotation of 120 degree in the counter clockwise direction that is if you are operating a that i will show in the form of a the rotation of a factor that is the value of a is one an angle of 120 degree as in the case of the operator j that is value is root minus one here a is equal to one an angle of 120 degree one an angle of 120 degree in that case that is j is one an angle of 90 degree one an angle of 90 degree that is rotating through an angle of 90 degree now if you are converting this one an angle of 120 degree that is the operator a in the rectangle form its value will be minus 0.5 plus j 0.86 if you are taking the a if you are operating a twice on a vector that becomes a square that value is one an angle of 240 degree then its a rectangle form is here minus 0.5 it is a minus j 0.866 then if you are operating a, a three times on a vector it becomes a, a cube in that case it is 120 plus 120 plus 120 that is 360 it is rotating through total angle of 360 that value will be the one that is represented here that is what i am taking is the first reference then all along the reference the vector which is represented is one an angle of zero degree that is it is in phase with the reference that is we are uh, referring all the vectors with refer, ref, reference to uh, this uh, reference vector okay now i want to operate the a on this particular vector in that case that vector this vector is rotating through an angle of 120 degree in the anti clockwise direction that you can see here that is if you are operating a on this particular vector that is one an angle of 120 we are operating then it is rotating through an angle of 120 degree that you can see here it is 120 degree in the anti clockwise direction and if you are operating a on this particular vector twice in that case this vector will rotating through a total angle of 200 40 degree in the anti clockwise direction just i am operating a square therefore this a square is one an angle of 240 means this vector is rotating with respect to reference by an angle of 240 degree similarly if you are going for the a cube if you are going for a, a cube in that case the vector that is one an angle of zero degree if you are operating a cube on this that is a three times it is rotating through an angle of total angle of 360 in the anti clockwise direction that you can see here this is a cube that is one angle of 360 then this total angle which is traveled in the anti clockwise direction is 
360 degree. That is the significance of A. A is 1 angle of 120 in its rectangle form is minus 0.5 plus J.866. Now, this operator you are often using in the, the synthesis of the symmetrical components. Then, the one more interesting, the, if the phenomena from this A, A square, if you are adding A plus A square, that is, it is a vector addition of A plus A square, in that case, we are getting minus 1. It is quite evident here. You look into the, the rectangle form, it is a point J886, it is a minus 0.86. If you are adding these two, this is 0, then it is minus 1, that is minus 1. To A plus A square, if you are adding plus 1, ultimately it is becomes 0, that is 1 plus A plus A square is 0, okay. Now, the synthesis of the symmetrical component. Here, our objective is to, to represent the unsymmetrical, the phasors into its symmetrical components, its symmetrical component. We know that we have got a number of unknowns here. If you are resolving VA into its symmetrical components, we have got VA1 plus VA2 and VA0. Similarly, if you are resolving VB, in that case it is VB1, VB2 and VB0. And if you are similarly, if you are resolving VC, it is having VC1, VC2 and VC0. In all, you have got the nine sets of unknown quantities. That is, the easy way of the thing is that you have to express this VB1, VB2, VC1, VC2 in terms of VA1 for the, you have to reduce the, the calculation. That is, we note that the number of unknown quantities can be reduced by expressing each of component of VB and VC, that is VB1, VB2, VB0, VC1, VC2, VC0 as the product of some function of operator A. That is, we have to express in terms of VA1, VA2 and VA0 so that we can reduce the number of the unknown quantities. Therefore, just you can observe here, the same thing I am making here, that is, I have got the positive sequence, the component, that is VA1, VB1 and VC1. The sequence is ABC, that is same as the original phasor. Then I have got the negative sequence component. It is, you can observe here, VA2, VC2 and VB2, that is the phase sequence is changed here. And I have got VA0, VB0 v and VC0. That is, here you have got the VB1, VC1, VC2, VB2, here VB0, VC0. In all, if you have got 3 plus 3 plus 3, that is there are 9, the component for 3 phases. Therefore, instead of 9, calculating 9 with a more number of the equation, it is a complicated. Therefore, our objective is to express VB1 in terms of VA1 expressing VC1 in terms of VA1. Similarly, VC2 you have to express in terms of VA2. VB2 also you have to express in terms of VA2. Similarly, here there is no problem because VA0, VB0 and VC0 are equal. They are in same phase. Therefore, VA0 is equal to VB0 is equal to VC0. As such, there is no problem for zero sequence component. Now, you can look into uh, here. Suppose I am operating a, that is the operator A, ties on a vector VA1. If you are operating the A square, that is A ties on a VA1, it is rotating through an angle of 240 degree in the anticlockwise, that will come all along the VB1. That I am showing here, you can see here, that is, I will show you with the help of the diagram here. If you are operating a square on this, a square on this, means this vector will rotate through an angle of 240 degree 
then what we are getting here the what we are getting here is a square times a square times v a 1 that is if you are operating a square on v a 1 it is rotating through an angle of 240 degree then this vector this vector is nothing but your a square times v a 1 then if you are look into the the other case other case if you are operating a on this if you are operating the factor a means the what you am getting here is it is rotating through an angle of 120 degree then it is becomes v a 1 here it is v a 1 here it is a square times v a 1 means you can look into that the v b 1 can be written as a square times v a 1 and vc1 can be written as a times va1 the same thing i am writing here that is you can observe here vb1 is equal to a square times va1 similarly the vc1 i told you that is if you are operating a on this then it is becomes a times v a1 that is all along the v c1 therefore v c1 is equal to a times v a1 similarly the same concept is applicable to here also if you are operating the a on this if you are operating a on v a2 then what i am getting is v a2 is rotating through an angle of 120 degree therefore what i am getting here is what i am getting here is it is a times v a2 then if you are operating a square on this then that is moving through an angle of 240 degree then it is become it is become a square times v a 2 a square times v a 2 then in other words in other words that is i am showing here that is the v b 2 that is this v b 2 is same as a times v a 2 v b 2 is a times v a 2 similarly v c 2 that is v c 2 is same as a square v a 2 therefore v c 2 is equal to a square times v a 2 then there is no problem for the the zero sequence component because they are all in same phase they are all in same phase therefore v a naught is equal to v b naught is equal to v c naught therefore we have got v a naught is equal to v b naught is equal to v c naught so that you can reduce v b 1 v c 1 v c 2 v b 2 v b naught v c naught all these things are expressed in terms of its the a component a component v b naught can be replaced by v a naught v c naught is also replaced by v a naught v b 2 can be replaced by a v a times v a 2 and v c 2 can be replaced by a square times v a 2 and similarly v b 1 and v c 1 can be replaced by a square v a 1 a times v a 1 with this uh, the preamble just i want to express our unsymmetrical phases in terms of symmetrical components just you can see here i have got relation already this v b 1 is equal to a square times v a 1 v c 1 is equal to a times v a 1 v b 2 is a times v a 2 all this were derived in the, the previous slide now i have got unbalanced phasor a i have got unbalanced phasor v a that is v a can be written as v a 1 v a 2 v a 0 i am not altering here because v a is expressed in its own components v a 1 v a 2 v a 0 and the second phasor unbalanced phasor is v b v b can be written as v b 1 plus v b 2 plus v b naught now my object is to reduce the unknown quantity to the minimum number so that i am replacing v b 1 v b 2 and v b naught in terms of its v a component its v a component what is the v b 1 the v b 1 is 8 a square times v a 1 what is the v b 2 v b 2 is a times v a 2 what is v b naught v b naught is equal to v a naught so that 
I can replace VB1, VB2 and VB0 in terms of its the A components. Therefore, what I am getting here is VB is equal to instead of VB1, I am putting A square times VA1. For VB2, that is I am putting A times VA2 and VB0 is equal to VA0. This is the expression for VB. Here, however, VB1, VB2, VB0 can be replaced by their the positive negative zero sequence components of uh, the, the phase A with the multiplication of A square and A that were seen here. Similarly, you have to express the phase R C that is VC is VC1, VC2, VC0. Once again, VC1, VC2, VC0 can be replaced by A times VA1, A square times VA2 and VA0. Therefore, what I am getting VC is A times VA1 plus A square VA2 plus VA0. The same these equations I am writing here. That is VA, VB and the VC. These are the unbalanced phase are they are expressed in the its symmetrical components. However, the number of unknown quantities that is here if you are taking 1, 2 and 3 equations that is first 3 sets of equation if you are taking in that case we have got 9 unknowns. Okay. However, here you have got the only the 3 unknowns because you are expressing VB1, VB2, VB0, VC1, VC2, VC0 in terms of VA1, VA2 and VA0. Suppose if you are writing this particular equation in the, the matrix form, the what I am getting here is that is VA, VB and VC that is equal to, you can we have to write in the matrix form that is VA, VB and VC that is VA, VB and VC. Then the multiplication factor you have to take the outside from the, the column matrix, the column matrix that is VA0, VA1, VA2 which is common in all the three equations that is VA0, VA1, VA2 and the left out the coefficient of VA0, VA1, VA2 in VA, VB, VC are that is here the coefficient of VA0 what I am getting is, is 1, here is also 1, here is also 1 therefore 1, 1, 1. The coefficient here for a B is 1 A square A that is 1 A square A. For C it is 1 A A square therefore it is 1 A A square and it is VA, VA0, VA1, VA2. If you are multiplying this once again we are getting the same equation that is here it is 1 into VA0 is VA0 plus 1 into VA1 is VA1, 1 into VA2 is VA2, that is VA0 plus VA1, VA2, that is nothing but your VA. For VB, it is VA0, A square VA1, A times VA2, that is VB, and VA0 plus A times VA1, A square times VA2, that is nothing but your the vector C. This is how you have to synthesize unsymmetrical phasors into its uh, symmetrical phasors with a reduced number of the unknown quantities that is expressed in terms of components of phasor A.